Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be seeing if I can fix this old girl. It's an old Amstrad 901 cross connection job. You know, it is what it is. It's a bit of an old dog, there's various scrapes. Let's get the cases off, see what we're up against. It's probably beyond me this one. If I can't zoom in a little bit, there's the diode, and by the looks of it, it's falling apart. So I'll, I'll add that out, fellas. Replace it with one of these huge, great big uh, diodes that's on the side here somewhere. Okay, this is a close up of the repair that I've done. This is one end of the diode. And this is the other. That's about as good as I can show it. And in here is the uh, 12 volt positive in that I had to solder in. And here is the wire. Well, I'm sure I could have done without that because I did manage to get the board chinned up. Right, okay, you should be able to see. That I've cleaned up some of the track in here I'm going to try and sold, solder that diode it straight in I don't know whether I'll better get enough heat on that piece of tracking I'm sure no flux or anything so all in all <coughs> for me for someone who don't mess around with this sort of thing well haven't done for probably seven or eight years I'm pretty happy with that all this other crud around here if I had the right stuff I would clean it off but uh, bottom line the rig does turn on the rig does key up now I'm unsure if there's actually any output yet it's got a uh, sound uh, you know it's more testing uh, to be done let's just show you another angle on the other end of this diode There you go. I mean, I won't say that soldering is perfect, but that ain't bad, particularly for me. There's the other leg that's soldered on. And as you can see down here, I tinned the board first. And it did actually solder up all right, but just for a little bit of extra, I did solder in uh, this, I don't know what you'd call it, like a jumper wire, if you like look like someone's had a job with this bit of tracking and thought well rather than uh, clean up the tracking and uh, flow a bit of solder over it I just use that wire and I've just basically copied what they've done now it was a little bit of an epic this uh, repair because like a donut when I put the diode in and soldered it in the first time I actually put it in the wrong way around fortunately I did manage to uh, realise that pretty quick not before blowing a fuse so there you go guys hope you've enjoyed this video so far hopefully 
the reg has got output and some outgoing audio uh, and I, I can actually use this old girl again it should be nice but on the whole the, the rig is in a in a little bit of a mess on the back here I don't know if you can make that out it's all bent someone's kicked it or dropped it or whatever and incidentally when I soldered in this uh, power lead this is not actually a join I slid uh, the little five I think it's a five amp uh, joiner over the cable and did it up just so it won't pull it out of the circuit board bit of a bodge but hey ho okay this is the uh, the big tryout if you like I've tried it a couple of times I've had the tinker very noisy uh, volume control the settings on the rig are all over the place but I've never touched it key to mic oh what do you know I might have revived it I mean this rig ain't worked for absolutely ages so in one of me uh, follow up videos I'll be getting it on the power meter seeing what it does and see if I can get a few rig checks on it just for shits and giggles so there you go the old dog is back from the dead <laughs> 